My name is Shams Khan. In 1996, I found out that I have diabetes type 2. My reaction to the news was not very shocked. I had it in our family in the past. I faced my diabetes by actually accepting that I have diabetes. This is a, certainly a controllable and manageable disease. Excellent. Very good. I think this team that uh, Dr. Lewis and this Toronto uh, General Hospital, the entire team is incredible. There's no question that scientists, clinicians and educators here are at the absolute leading edge of diabetes research, education and clinical care. One of the greatest medical discoveries of all time was made right here with the discovery of insulin by Banting and Best, McLeod and Cullop in 1921. Early in 1922, at the Toronto General Hospital, a young boy, Leonard Thompson, was the first patient to receive an injection of insulin. We took a disease that was uniformly fatal, that is type 1 diabetes, and transformed that into a disease that really could be managed and lives could be saved. The discovery was so profound that it made headlines throughout the world. The Banting and Best legacy is that 90 years later, the University Health Network and University of Toronto is a leading center for diabetes research, care, and education. One of the avenues of research that we're working on is to create pancreatic cells, in fact, from stem cells. I've been able to generate, together with my team in the Keller lab, insulin-producing beta cells from stem cells. They've managed to take stem cells, which are cells that haven't yet decided what they want to become when they grow up. Do they want to become a skin cell, or a liver cell, or a pancreatic cell? Our goal would be to have these cells generate beta cells, into producing beta cells that could one day be used for transplantation in patients with type 1 diabetes. That's as close to a cure for type 1 diabetes as we will come. You have the sense of doing something good and amazing and because of the uh, potential of these cells, you feel like you're working with something very special. We're a world leader in exporting our expertise to other countries, such as developing countries. We have a very successful program in Guyana in which with very simple educational methods, the rate of amputations has been reduced by 50%. There have been tremendous advances in the management of diabetes. The best treatment for type 1 diabetes is an insulin pump. We have doctors that specialize in pump therapy. There's a little catheter or a little tube that leads from the pump and under the skin. The insulin's held in a little syringe inside the pump and it gives, just like a pancreas, small little pulses of insulin through the catheter. So the advantage of the pump over four shots of insulin per day is that a patient with type 1 diabetes can really get very good control of their blood sugars. Uh, the insulin pump gives them freedom. It's a tool that they can use to, so that the insulin can match their lifestyle rather than having to match their lifestyle to the insulin. We are a leader in diabetes management with things like new apps for mobile phones, for example, the BANT app. What the BANT application can do is it can read your blood sugar readings directly from your blood sugar meter and it will contextualize them, it will show you trends. Uh, it will be able to store those readings into your personal health record to share with your endocrinologist. It has uh, the ability to reward uh, younger kids to take their readings on a regular basis. It allows them to redeem those points for iTunes redemption codes where they can buy music and apps. We have had more than 50,000 people download the application. We're planning to do much more with BANT in the area of diabetes. I believe that our purpose here is to create uh, effective consumer technologies 
to be able to have patients care for themselves more effectively. Effective managing of a disease like this uh, from institutions like this really is almost all of the battle done. Something like BANT could only have been done at the University Health Network. We feel right at the center of the, uh, the cross currents of diabetes research, care and education. My dream is to be part of the team that one day will uh, change the way we treat diabetes. I'm pretty well living the dream. The dream for the team is to make a major impact that is going to truly be transformative in the lives of people uh, with diabetes. It won't surprise me at all that if they actually come up with something and people no longer say I have diabetes. If that's what you mean by cure, I won't be surprised. <laughs>